Artisan Festival International Cannes World Peace Initiative took place during Festival de Cannes and hosted an evening of fine arts, fashion, and film at luxury lifestyle designer Richard Nelson's Villa Oxygen. nervous about tonight it's Why? exciting it's isn't exciting. isn't it very, very exciting very exciting now we are the world what was your opinion when we met in monaco and i told you i'd like you to come back to this area can for the can film festival and our celebration of um indian artists with um the artists and festival international world peace initiative um first and foremost i thank you for inviting me to this event I just feel that uh, I'm blessed that you chose me out of the others and uh, because I believe in this cause just as much as you do you're doing so much for this cause and I've been uh, I've been wanting to do this for the longest time um, so I thank you and uh, that's the reason I did not want to miss this opportunity and I flew all the way from India within two weeks time I'm back here again only because I believed in this cause so much well thank you thank you so much now your works are very colorful and uh, delicious that's thank how you. I describe you delicious with, just like you are right now with the beautiful colors thank you. what um, what's in your mind when you begin creating your works Mm, I started with uh, smaller works, so I was just playing with the colors because Indian, India is all about colors and I love colors. So I was uh, just playing with colors and then I thought that, uh, you know, what is, what is painting all about? It's about paints and it's about adding a little color into our dull, everyday, uh, monotonous lives. So that's why I like to play with colors, you know, because it's like the house can be white and black and whatever, but we need colors in our lives too, you know? Yes, we do. Now, um, how do you describe your works? I, I definitely feel abstract, but I've seen some of your other works that are not necessarily abstract. So tell us more about your works. I, I get inspired very quickly. You know, I absorb a lot of nature. So whenever I see anything happening around me, I want to just immediately express myself on the camera, on the canvas, sorry. So um, I just do a lot of urban settlements because that's what we see all around us, all over the world. There's a lot of development, very rapid development happening. So that's what I like to paint. But what I'm trying to say in my paintings is that please do develop. Urbanization is nice, but at the same time, do not forget the landscapes because the greenery is just as important and that's what I'm trying to show here in my works. You can see the high-rise buildings but then I'm showing the butterfly because I feel that the butterfly for me depicts nature. Beautiful, beautiful. Now explain more of, of this particular image that we're looking at this very moment. Okay and also um, you know I like to play with textures. I don't like very plain Jane paintings. I like to create a little confusion. I want, to pe I want the people to not just pass by but stop and look at it twice again to understand see and i wanted to create something that has not been done before so i made a lot of, i put in a lot of efforts it's a it's a work of 3 years to develop this technique this well, yes i'm just looking at the technique now you're familiar with some of the drop art from the jackson pollock yes now is this are you, some of this is in some of your works yes i did use a little bit of a wish wash technique that uh, jackson pollock used but then i won't say that he's my only inspiration because you can see that there are various other inspirations mm -hmm. you can see a mix of and then i wanted to create a technique which has not been used so when i was participating in some of the international fairs even the masters have come to ask me what is the technique that I'm using because I'm mixing five elements to get this particular element. Right, that's what I'm noticing. So basically it's as if you create one canvas and then you keep building and building yes. and building. You know, that's that's um, interesting. That's a style that's similar to my style. I believe we should do something together. Sure. But getting back to being together, mm -hmm. we are the world. 
-hmm. It's an honor to have you here for the We Are The World event. Thank you. And um, if you could accomplish one thing, what would it be here in Cannes for We Are The World? In Cannes? I mean, uh, I think I have already accomplished it with my, um, uh, my association with you because you brought fashion, which I think is a form of art. You brought art. You brought uh, the films. You know, all these are very uh, important element of art. And you could bring it all together in w at one platform. And that's what I would want if the organization that I have, I would want the organization to do exactly the same. So I think this is a beautiful cause and uh, this is the only way to get to achieve peace all over the world because there's so much art all over the world. And if we can bring a lot of artists from different walks of life, why not? Beautiful. Now, you have been everywhere with your art, mm -hmm. all over the world. Mm -hmm. You're a traveled woman, mm -hmm. um, beautiful woman mm -hmm. and very uh, educated. Thank you. So um, what's next for you? Mm, I'm now uh, booked uh, for the Indian Art Summit and uh, that's what I'm looking forward to and uh, maybe uh, by the end of this month I'm going to have a solo show in Dubai. Really? Yes. Dubai? I've been invited but I was holding on to it because there were so many other international assignments to be f finished first because I had prior commitments. So now I'm done with that and now I'm going to look at Dubai. Well, we're going to check you out in Dubai. Thank you. I would Welcome. love to come Welcome. to see you and support you. And also uh, you doing Hamptons and LA and oh, yes. why not? Uh, if you invite me, I would love to be a part of your uh, association again. Yes. Now. I'm also very excited eventually to tell you some good news in reference to uh, Miss Miss Sani and what we're going to do together, but it is a surprise. Now, I keep saying one final question, one final question. Um, what is peace to you? Love. Peace for me is love and a lot of positive energy. Just even if others are not being so nice and if you give out the positivity and just one smile, I think you've achieved peace. Perfect. Beautiful. Well said, well stated for such a beautiful lady. Thank now, you. I know that you're going to enjoy tonight at the We Are The World, the Artists and World Peace Initiative right here in Cannes. We'll be right back. So, bringing Cannes World Peace Initiative. We are bringing peace to Cannes with fashion, music, and fine arts. And film, obviously. Doing festivals at Cannes. C'est ce soir vous allez avoir des surprises. Deux, mots, mais, égal. C'est la méga, méga soirée. as far as fine art is concerned no one in particular I've been an uh, ardent admirer of uh, Salvador Dali because for his times he was just too modern and too contemporary uh, I've also been inspired by Monet and uh, you know he was beautiful too and also with the struggles of Pablo Picasso because we all artists as an artist we all go through a lot of struggle also but then what he achieved because he developed his own technique and that's what inspired me that I wanted to develop my own technique which was a Gauri Sahani technique and then I worked on it uh, so that inspired me but as far as the work is concerned I think I get more inspired with nature than anything else. Now where do you paint? Do you actually paint inside or, or like this particular image here or was that outside painting? A bit of both. I don't restrict myself at all. It just depends what I feel like doing at the particular moment. If the sun is nice, I just go out and if it's raining, I can paint inside. If I have to complete a painting, I have to complete a painting. Now, do you have a studio? Yes, I do. Tell us more about your studio. It's a very simple studio. Uh, it's in Delhi, New Delhi, in Defense Colony, which is like the center, very posh area. My reason of having my studio there is because uh, 
I would want a lot of people to come around because I'm a people's person and I like to have a lot of people around me and all but when I'm painting at that particular moment uh, I like my peace and my solace and I would like to do it as a solitaire work. Now tell us more about your charity. I hear that you're you, you mentioned that you're doing something for peace as well in um, India. Yes, I have an organization called National Art Forum for Destitute. Uh, in short, we call it NAFT. And the uh, purpose of uh, just coming up with this organization, the inspiration behind was in 2008, the year 2008. Uh, there were a lot of news in India that artisans were actually, the artisans in the smaller towns were actually ki doing ma committing mass suicide. They were killing the families and they were killing themselves because they didn't have enough work uh, to support themselves and the families and that's when I thought that okay there are so many organizations who are fighting for the rights of women and children and you know they need support but also we should realize that the man of the family needs support too you know because if the man is getting enough work he can provide food he can provide education he can provide so much more and a better quality of life so this organization was formed to actually get a lot of uh, support and create platforms for the main uh, earning member of the family. It's easy to give them money, but that is not what I wanted. Because giving money is like spoiling, but giving work is like inspiration. Wow, that you know that's very important. A lot of organizations are just women based, but it is the men as well that needs uplifting. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so how can the fans find out more about you, the fans of Artisan Festival International and also your fans? Oh, lovely. Um, sure, they can find me on my website. My URL is www.gourisahani.com. So that's gorisahani.com. The same spellings on Facebook and also you can Google search me with the same spellings. Long time.